In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for Cr2+, Cr3+, and then neutral Cr. So this is the chromium-2 ion, chromium-3 ion, and then just neutral chromium. When we look at the periodic table, we can see that the atomic number for chromium, that's 24. So for chromium here, 24. And that's the same for the ions. If it's chromium, it's going to be 24. If it has Cr in it, it's 24 as its atomic number. And that will equal the number of protons. So again, for chromium and then for its ions, 24 protons. So when we're talking about neutral elements here and their ions, the only thing that's going to be different is going to be the number of electrons. So to figure this out, we know that the number of protons equals the number of electrons when we have a neutral element. We know that chromium here on the periodic table, this is neutral because there's no negative or positive after it. So we have 24 protons. That'll equal the number of electrons for neutral chromium. Let's put a 24 there. For Cr2 plus here, the chromium 2 ion, this 2 plus, that means we've lost two negative charges. We've lost two electrons. They're negative. So we just subtract 2 from 24. We get 22 electrons for chromium 2, Cr2 plus. Cr3 plus, we just have 21. So the big difference between the neutral element here and the ions, that's the number of electrons. If you need help figuring out the number of neutrons for all the isotopes of chromium, there's a link in the description to help you with that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.